immediately following the lion's third roar, start Dark Side of the Moon. Turn the stereo up and the TV down, you'll know if you're in sync if producer Mervyn Leroy's credit hits on the musical transition as follows. Now simply kick back and judge for yourself both the lyrical and musical synchronicity. Balanced on the biggest wave, race towards another grave. I'll tell you the thing that totally blew me away out of all of the coincidences that seem to happen is when Great Gig in the Sky is on and the tornado is whirling. The movie took on a completely different feel for me there. And coming up, we have actually one of the best transitions here. As it goes to color, uh, Money comes up, which is the next song. As near as I've been able to determine, it's pretty much a cosmic coincidence. There simply weren't the mechanics to do it. We had no, uh, we had no means of, uh, of playing videotapes. Uh, in the in the room at all i don't think vhs would come along by 72 had it it doesn't seem like there's a lot of evidence to support that it's intentional but that that certainly doesn't undermine how, how cool it is to sit in, and watch it so far the only comment from the floyd camp on all of this has come from drummer nick mason who says quote it's absolute nonsense it has nothing to do with the wizard of oz it was all based on the sound of music presumably he's joking although with nick it's hard to know sometimes by the way to further explore the dark side of oz check in with mtv online